Hi everyone from Room 9. I miss you guys so much. Um, I want to come on today and say hi to you and I thought today I could read a story. So I chose a story today um, to do with our emotions and feelings. So I chose a story that we, we've read this at school before. It is called Grumpy Pants. Words and Pictures by Claire Messer. When you look at the front cover you can take a look at that Look at the penguin and see what you notice about him. So at school, we always talk about the front cover, what we see, what's going on. So I notice he's wearing a rain jacket, a hat, some boots. Looks like I see some raindrops coming down. Doesn't look too happy. So we're gonna talk more about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Penguin was in a bad mood, a very bad mood. Oh my goodness, I can tell by that picture he does not look happy. His eyebrows are raised, looking up. Maybe he's maybe he's upset that it's raining? I don't know. Let's see. He didn't know why, and he didn't care. He stomped his feet all the way home. So he was just in a bad mood. He was not happy. Didn't know why. He just was very upset, stomping, just not in a good mood. He's just sticking together. All right. <laughs> He pulled off his grumpy coat. He kicked off his grumpy boots, but he was still grumpy. Oh no. He tried to shake it off, but he was still grumpy. So even when he was home and out of the rain, he just still felt grumpy. He was not happy. So he pulled off one grumpy sock and the other, but he was still grumpy. So he took off his grumpy overalls. Nope. Still grumpy. So no matter what he's doing, it's just not working. He's still not happy. Finally, he took off his grumpy underpants. But I'm still grumpy, you know. Then Penguin took a deep breath and he counted. So everyone take a deep breath. We'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. So here he is, look at, it says one, two, three. <gasps> he only got to three and splash into the tub. I see how the water is splashing out. I wonder if this is gonna help him calm down a little bit, see, make him feel better. The water was nice and cold. Penguin played with his duck. He hid under the water and made himself a bubble beard. So he's kind of just playing around in the tub, just kind of trying to make himself feel better. Little by little, he was starting to feel much better. It was time to get out of the tub. There he is, he's out of the bath. He put on his favorite pajamas and he had a steaming cup of hot chocolate. So he took a bath, got on his favorite pajamas, hot chocolate. He read his favorite book. He found his favorite teddy bear and he climbed into bed. He seems like maybe he's doing a little bit better now. So at the beginning of the story, he was kind of grumpy, wasn't sure why, couldn't get out of being grumpy. And then as he's doing all the things that he likes, his favorite things, he's starting to feel better. As Penguin fell asleep, he knew that tomorrow would be a good day because all the grumpiness had been washed away. So he decided that when he went, when he woke up the next morning, he was going to be happy and have a good day, or try really hard to have a good day. All the grumpiness was washed away. The back of the book actually asked a question. It says, have you ever been in a bad mood and not known why? Can you guys think about that? Have you ever just been in a bad mood and didn't know the reason why? Sometimes it happens. Everyone gets in a bad mood sometimes, right? And it's okay. Sometimes you just need to take a break. Sometimes you just need to, like, he, Penguin just went home. He took a tub. He found all of his favorite things, and it helped to make him feel better. And when he went to bed, he said, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and be a little bit happier. So everyone gets grumpy sometimes, and that's okay. We all have those feelings. So even if you're grumpy, there's certain things that you can do to try to make yourself feel a little better. So at school, we talk about these kind of things. Sometimes we go in the cube, have a few minutes to ourselves. We might look at stories. Um, do quiet activities. So at my house, I have my sons here with me. So I went around and I just tried to look for a few things that I have laying around here 
some of their toys and things that sometimes if you feel grumpy you can just get one of these things and maybe start to calm your body down feel a little bit better so I found I found this <laughs> one of these um, kind of like a sensory feeling thing so if you have one, if you have something similar if you have a ball anything that you can squeeze and play with sometimes just doing these kind of things make you feel better I also found a ball like this which I know not everyone might have this kind of thing but I just happened to come across it in my house we use it sometimes when we do yoga at school so you can take deep breaths along with the ball to calm down but even if you don't have this that's okay you can just take deep breaths on your own right um, my sons also had just a couple little like trinkety things that you can twist and wiggle and sometimes you know just to calm down just something in your hands to play with and squish and I also found this thing so these, these are just a few things that I had laying around my house so depending on what you have at your house you can find some things to use or you can even just color a picture. Sometimes just sitting down, coloring, having a few minutes to yourself will help you to calm down if you're feeling grumpy and you don't know why. I also have um, some ideas on a picture, picture charts that I'm going to also put up on the Dojo page for you guys. So you can always look at that as well. Sometimes just taking a deep breath, counting, sometimes going for a little walk. If it's a nice day and your family is up for it, you guys can just go for a walk and calm down. Sometimes even just going doing a quiet puzzle, anything that you guys can think of um, to keep you calm and safe and healthy. All right. I miss everyone. Bye, everybody.